uh, good evening all and thanks uh, aios uc forum for giving me the opportunity to speak today on the topic uh, i am talking about what's new in cornea and refractive services uh, in this uh, update i am dr gunjan and i'm as we all know that uh, in the new times we have just become like children we using hand sanitizers and masks to cover our faces so besides that new newer things that have been introduced recently uh, in the ocular microbiology is the novel use of triple blue staining in corneal scrapings to help in visualization of the koh uh, and fungal hyphae that are more evident with the triple blue uh, coming on to various techniques on collagen cross linking as we have all knew that uh, we have a set limit for uh, corneas for which uh, corneal uh, cross linking can be done so this these lenticular assisted cxl and now we have a uh, slit lamp based csl with a device which is ci device also contact lens assisted cxl and intra lens stromal pocket collagen cross linking has been introduced new uh, the collagen cross linking has also been used in uh, microbial keratitis in the past as well but the new update is that uh, in lot of advanced non dissolving microbial microbial keratitis patients we can have this uh, new technique that is helpful as an adjunct also then coming on to the rose bengal photodynamic antimicrobial therapy for patients with progressive infectious keratitis so this is a good device which uses a green led and it has helpful uh, in adjunct treatment of uh infective keratitis patients and is showing a very good result in the patients uh now coming on to the transplantation techniques uh, this is a bowman layer only transplantation to manage the herpes corneal scar so we can see that uh, bowman uh, layer transplantation was as it has been already uh, used in keratoconus patients but now it uh, we can use it for corneal scars as well There's a sutureless femtosecond laser-assisted anterior lamellar keratoplasty using a bioengineered cornea as a viable alternative to human donor transplantation for superficial corneal opacities. As we all know that in the COVID situations, a lot of eye banks were not functioning. So this uh, newer uh, uh, bioengineered corneas have uh, shown promising results as well. So corneal bioprints have also been introduced, uh, which are collagen-based, and they can be also used for uh, the transplantations uh, techniques when there's a dearth of tissues. Uh, artificial corneas have also been uh, discovered now, and they are uh, being designed from the sil silk dry cocoons, and uh, they have shown good results as well in rabbit eyes. So maybe they they will come sooner in the commercial use coming to diagnostics the artificial intelligence is not new but it has been used in high fidelity detection uh, based on confocal microscopy and uh, it has uh, also shown a lot of results in uh, uh, in the in the centers which are located away from the tertiary centers so a lot of um, op optometrists who are staying in uh, two tier or three tier cities can also share uh, normal and abnormal con uh, confocal corneal images as well and Tele ophthalmology is not new, also, but then this uh, confocal can also be useful in advanced uh, treatments. Coming to the treatment of corneal endothelial diseases, the RO kinase, that is the ROC inhibitors, they have shown pr promising results in patients of endothelial decompensation. They come in two forms, which is uh, reposidal eye drops, and they have shown promising results in patients with uh, corneal endothelial uh, corneal decompensation. and injections have also shown results in patients uh, with clearing of the, the corneas coming on to desmid stripping only for a chronic uh, desmid detachment after cataract surgery this is also a new technique that they have shown in uh, chronic results in chronic uh, desmid uh, detachments causing uh, corneal decompensation so in this we can just uh, remove the desmid strip and in the central area and uh, the newer restoration of the endothelial barrier comes again and patients have clearer corneas in uh, the follow up periods coming to the ocular surface uh, these are not uh, very new but yes definitely uh, these are uh, go growing more uh, advanced now that is the bilateral lcd patient with wet surface we have uh, post allogenic uh, which have slit clet 
and we also have Boston type one uh, K pros and type two K pros. Then there's the LVP K pro as well with modifications. Uh, then, as I talked about CLET, which is a cultivated limbal epithelial transplantation technique uh, from which uh, we can also use for the techniques in LSCD. Uh, coming to the refractive, uh, the corneal in place for surgical correction of press biopia have also been um, very useful now. There are three forms, camera inlay, which is implanted in the cornea. Then we have raindrop new, uh, near vision inlay. And there's a Presbya uh, Flex B micro lens. So these are newer uh, techniques in press biopia management. Thank you.